Hey everyone, it's Francesca Witzberg here. So today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about what is intellectual property, what I refer to um, on my page and what others refer to as IP, and um, talk a little bit about trademarks and how you can get started on protecting some of your IP assets. So what is intellectual property? Intellectual property really refers to creations of the mind. So inventions, literary and artistic works, designs, symbols, names and images that are pretty much used in commerce. Some are protected automatically, like trademarks and copyrights, which we'll get into, but others um, you need to actually file with the government, like patents. So I guess we can start with trademarks because I am the trademark attorney and that is my area of expertise. So trademarks can really be a name or symbol, any device or smell, anything really in theory that indicates to consumers that uh, you are the producer behind this product or service. So. Some examples um, of unique trademarks are um, the NBC sound. It's, th it's three notes that they were able to actually protect as a, as a source indicator. And um, the Tiffany blue is, is actually a trademark by the Tiffany company. So, um, you know, to get started really, I, I understand that a lot of people are now starting their own either businesses on the side or it's an Amazon business or they, you know, quit their jobs and are now pursuing their their dream. And, um, you know, you have a minimal budget. You don't want to really jump in and start spending a lot of money with attorneys, but there's really important information that you do need to know to get the process started. Um, and then from there, once you have your ducks in a row and you understand, you can consult with counsel to help you get um, the proper filings done. So number one, should you incorporate? Um, I always recommend that you incorporate. It's very easy. You can go online and do it yourself or you can talk with an attorney. Um, LLCs are great, but uh, you should talk to a tax attorney if you really want to be strategic about how to structure your business. Um, then the second part is, you know, pick your brand. So once you come up with a name, the, the best thing that you can do really before even talking to an IP attorney is going online and going, um, going to the USPTO. The USPTO.gov website has a search function where you can actually search their database. Um, it's a very different search than what I do. I have special um, software and I'm trained to look for things that are issues. You may see something that you don't think is an issue, but it could be an issue for trademark law purposes. So, um, but even before it gets to me, do your own due diligence to, to save money and go on the USPTO and do your own quick search to see if someone already has the mark. Um, and then go online and Google. So um, if your mark is Blue Barracuda for, um, for surf products, type in Blue Barracuda. I'm sure you're gonna get a bunch of pictures of fish, but type Blue Barracuda surfboard. And from there, you'll be able to see the top hits. Um, then if the mark looks okay, you know, contact an attorney because the searches that you did are really nothing like the searches that um, trademark attorneys are gonna do. Uh, we have special software that scans, um, that will scan the database and uses special algorithms to look for marks that may not have come up on your first hit. And also um, we 
once we do uh, what's called a preliminary search, which is like an initial search, if you wanted to, you can do a deeper search, deeper dive to see if there's anyone that's actually using it on different databases. And I'm gonna get into that uh, in a separate recording. So once you cleared the mark, I actually recommend getting the social media handles and the domain name. So definitely check to see if they're available. Uh, I just had a client email me saying, and they filed for a very unique mark. It was a very unique spelling. Uh, it was a made up word. So what happened was when we filed the application, it's, it's a public record, right? So there's actually software that scans the database and compiles all the information of recently filed applications and basically trolls use this to their advantage right so then they check to see if there's anything if there's a new mark that's filed that the domain name and the dot com is available they'll buy it and they'll hold it hostage so then they have to basically can um, upcharge and charge you a lot of money if you really really want your brand name so um the client was not happy that as soon as he filed the next day someone registered his domain name um so do it before you file and um from there you know once you have your company in place you have your trademark filed you have the social media handles and you have your domain name um start thinking about what are your most important ip assets it, besides your brand, you know, um, your brand name. Like, are there logos that you're using that you want to maybe protect? Are is there any particular character um, that's a part of your business? Or um, is there any particular method or process that you're doing that you think may be protectable with a patent? Um, Think of them and talk with an IP attorney. It may be something worth budgeting for to protect. So um, that's a really high level overview of IP and how to get started. If you have any questions, you know, I'm happy to answer. My email is in my account and you can always just shoot me a note on Instagram. I'll be recording more videos to give you guys more tips and help you start your business. Thanks.